We welcome Creighton head coach Jim Flannery and student athletes Olivia Elger and Maya Melman. We will begin with an opening statement from the head coach and then we will take questions. Well, thrilled to be here. <laughs> um, obviously, we have a, a big challenge tomorrow night. Uh, you know, again, the good, the good news is we have some familiarity with them because we played them and our players were able to get to watch them a little bit yesterday, uh, which I think can, can possibly be helpful. And, uh, um, you know, we'll have to do a lot of things well, uh, but, we, but we, you know, I really feel like we can build off yesterday and, uh, and even our last, our conference tournament performance. And, and so we'll be ready. I know they will be. You know, you're always, you're always kind of going back and forth on potential adjustments they might make and potential adjustments that we could make. Um, but uh, it'll also come down to, you know, just who plays better tomorrow. So great opportunity for us. Uh, we've never been to a Sweet 16, and, and that would be our goal. Thank you. We'll now open it up to questions. Uh, this is for everyone, really. I'm just, how would you describe the break? Just waiting to find out if you'd even be here. Uh, and then from that moment on, how do you go from knowing you'll be here to kind of game planning after not being sure for so long? Yeah, it was definitely nerve wracking at first. Um, we, there was a time where we weren't sure at all that we were in. And then I think once we were in, it was kind of just like, well, let's make the most of it. It's a really great opportunity. And we don't really have anything to lose. Let me to go. Sure. Sorry, is there anything you can do with the players in terms of getting past that just happy to be here phase and to, you know, getting them motivated and ready after that, that, like I said, that long break that you had to go through before that? Sure. Well, it was, it, it was, it was like, like Olivia said, it was nerve-wracking really the entire week from, from when we finished our conference tournament until, until the day of the selection show. And then that day seemed like it was forever. And then the show seemed like it was forever because we were in the last – half of the last bracket, uh, they could have, they could have given us, um, a little, you know, they could have reversed the order that they released the brackets, but, um, you know, but, but yeah, you're right. Then you go to kind of a euphoria and a, geez, we were in and, and, and not only that, but we play a school three hours away, um, that we have some familiarity with. So that was, um, I think good. And then, and then to get to come to Los Angeles, you know, that's great. Um, but you're, you know, we're also here to to execute and give our best and, and prepare in, in a way that, that gives us that opportunity. You know, Maya's a senior, and we have five seniors, and and so. But but you also tell your underclassmen, you don't know when you're getting this. You don't know if you're getting this opportunity again or when you're getting it, and and uh, so you you have to give yourself every opportunity to prepare to win. And I think our our group is good about that because even though. Um, you know, maybe from a, from a production standpoint, our seniors are, you know, are, you know, maybe don't have as many, you know, average as many points or whatever, that there's still, there's still a leadership element there that's in place that, that you don't have when you don't have that number of seniors. So, um, you know, I, I, and, and the other thing is, is we were here last year. We won a game and then lost to Oregon State in the second round. So um, I think that that, uh, you know, being that close last year doesn't hurt us either. Maya, your coach was talking about how obviously you've faced UCLA before. It seems like forever ago that you did. Is there anything you can even take from that game? Because your team's changed since then and their team's changed since then as well. Um, yeah, definitely there's still a lot of good things and bad things that we can take, you know, watching. We watched a little bit of that film this morning. Um, obviously, I think moving forward, rebounding is going to be huge for us. And then, you know, after watching um, a little bit of their game against American yesterday, ball security and limiting turnovers is going to be really, really important for us, too, in order to get a win. So, Coach, you said that game when you played in November, it was your fourth game in, I believe, seven days. So the preparation was a little bit difficult. Do you feel more confident in your ability to prepare for this game this time? Um, yeah, I feel more confident in my ability, but to prepare because no, I'm just. But I think I think from a player standpoint, you know, I think from a coach and a player perspective, we have, you know, we just we didn't have to prepare for 
multiple opponents in a short period of time. We had to prepare for for Iowa, and we you know we have a familiarity with with UCLA in terms of having you know having some backdrop. So yeah, I think just even having one day is you know just we we just came out of our conference tournament where you play back to back, okay? And we were just talking as a staff. I mean, it's having one day isn't a lot, <laughs> but it's better than playing the next day after you play. So, and, and that was the case the first time we played them. So I think from a, from a mental perspective and from a, from a physical, you know, we, like, like you said, that was our fourth game in seven days and having to travel two time zones. We've been out here now for a few days. So the, the, the time difference isn't as great of an issue. So um, again, that doesn't necessarily mean that we have a better chance to win tomorrow, but I, I feel more prepared and I, I know our players will, um, but you know, I, I know UCLA is going to take us seriously and, and be prepared too. So, you talked about how in the third quarter, in that game, their defense kind of really turned it. What's so difficult about handling their defense? Uh, speed, strength, length, all three of those things that they have. I mean, you saw the game yesterday, American played really well for. I mean, other than that stretch in the at the end of the first quarter and in, in the, in the start of the second quarter, they played they played even. It was just that that one barrage um, where where they UCLA was able to score, set their press, and uh, they had some backcourt turn. American had some backcourt turnovers that led to some baskets, and then they hit a couple threes at the end of the quarter, and then the one to start the, the second quarter, and then all of a sudden it's 18, um, and that's a little bit. You know what happened to us in the third quarter of that game is you you've got to to Maya's point you've got to you can't have that you've got to you've got to be able to limit a run to five or six points not you know ten or twelve and so because they you know they're hard enough to guard in the half court but if we if we turn the ball over and give them easy baskets that's that's gonna then it's gonna be really difficult for us to overcome that. Any other questions? I was just curious for Olivia and Maya, how, how did you two spend that break? Was that during spring break, the, the break leading up to the selection show? So how did each of you kind of spend that break? Did you go home? Was it <laughs> more difficult being home and waiting than being on campus and waiting? How did that work exactly? Um, I think we're fortunate enough, Flynn lets us go home and have um, a couple days off. And he always tells us before we leave, you know, do what you think your body needs. So for those, you know, Jalen, Sid, and Odd who played big time minutes, they probably needed some more rest. And, you know, for those of us that didn't play a lot, it was definitely, I spent a lot of time in the gym. I'm sure Liv definitely did too. Um, but kind of just finding a balance between that two. And I think it definitely did, you know, going home and um, just being able to relax and enjoy family time. Um, seeing friends too. I think it made waiting to see what our result in the tournament was gonna be a little bit easier for me anyways, I thought, but obviously was still super anxious to get back and get things going. Yeah, I would agree with all that. I mean, it was still nerve wracking, but it was nice being home because you kinda, not everything was basketball. You could kinda get your mind off it at times. 